Hey there guys, yo and hello, Moonlight Butterfly Miku back again, and it has been quite some time since I did a reaction vid, but I am pleased to react to this latest trailer from the new Pokemon Snap coming out on the Nintendo Switch tomorrow, actually. I, I can tell you guys, this is a treat for me because, believe it or not, I know probably I'm going to get a lot of flack for this. I have not played the original Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo 64, unfortunately. I've never played it. I've seen it, but I've never played it. So this is finally my chance to delve into Pokemon Snap, taking pictures of all the Pokemon in their natural environment. It's a, it's a nice little spin-off from the usual battling and collecting badges and going on a journey to be the very best, you know. But <laughs> I'm really excited to play this. So I came across this trailer, and I'm going to watch and react to it right now. So without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Oh. I'm super excited. Aspiring photographers, welcome to the Lentil Region. You'll find a vast array of islands with various natural oh. environments, from dense jungles packed yeah. with lush <laughs> trees to vast, Horrible. scorching deserts. Many wild Pokemon call these islands their home. Let's have a glimpse the into Lentil these region. fascinating areas. All right. You'll discover that wild Pokemon have different group oh, behaviors. Oh, aren't they having a delightful time? Those ones appear to be highly protective of their territory. Yeah, I wouldn't come near a No, spot. No, no, Here in front of this waterfall, a Venusaur is enjoying basking in the sun. Two Sobble are nearby, enticed by the scent of Venusaur's flower. Look! This Sobble playfully spray water on Venusaur and its flower. That's so cute. Venusaur certainly seems to be having a good time. <laughs> In the warm, shallow waters of the lentil seafloor dwell schools of Love Disc, Mantine, Vineon, and Alomomola. All me, swimming gracefully. Alomomola. Love Disc reside within the coral reef and have already picked their favorite resting spot, <laughs> right between Corsola's branches. That sure does look comfortable. A flock of drift limbs soar against the stunning backdrop of the Maricopia Reef. Look closely, and you can spot a drift limb in the group oh, holding a clam pearl. Oh, they appear cute. to be getting along famously and enjoying a flight through the skies. Oh, what's this? <laughs> drift limb returned clam pearl to its friends. So that cute. drift limb seems to be a gentle Pokemon. Aww. Pokemon can act differently when the sun goes down. Some may be curled up sleeping peacefully and adorably, might I add, while others might become more active. Let's take a look at how Pokemon behave at night. Here, we see a herd of Buffalon snoozing quite soundly. Oh, a score bunny is running around. I'm a bit worried it might wake Buffalon. It wakes Buffalon, score bunny's toast. The desert sky at night is breathtaking. Look up and you may see shooting stars. Oh, here's one that just fell right in front of us. Why, it's a meteor. This Pokemon's shell shattered when it collided with the ground, revealing its core. Truly a magical sight to behold, isn't it? The trunk of this large tree contains a nest of two cannon. They live nestled closely together as they are known for forming harmonious couples. Aww. Zoom in on the nests, yeah, and you'll see that. that they're resting together with Vicky Peck. So Nighttime cool. really brings out all sorts of charming moments in this lush asleep. ecosystem. So Here in their natural oh. habitat, Pokemon exhibit their the instinctive behaviors. You might bear witness oh. to the harsh and at times unexpected demeanors oh. of certain Pokemon. Oh, Case in point, watch as they lay claim to territory. <laughs> That's cool. Chinchow called this beautiful seabed of shining moss their home. They lure other Pokemon with their two glowing antenna, then send electrical currents from the tips of their antenna to mm -hmm. paralyze their prey. Oh. NK, for instance, was drawn to the light, but instead of falling victim, it made Chinchow fall asleep wow. with hypnosis. That's cool. Now that is cool. Oh, Sharpedo swim around freely, shooting oh, jets of water as they maneuver through the ocean. Oh dear, that oh, Sharpedo was chasing Squirtle. I do hope it'll be all right. Swim. 
Swim, squirrel! Uh, get away! Just in time. Ooh. A Lapras has come to its rescue. Good. What a kind <gasps> gesture from the Lapras. <laughs> That'll teach Sharpedo. That was so funny. I can't even with that. that a was funny. nighttime battle is taking place between Zangoose and Saviper on Blushing Beach. Uh oh. Which Pokemon will prevail? Now you know these Zangoose two are enemies. with its razor sharp claws? Or Saviper with its sword like tail? There seems to be no end in sight for this feud that has lasted for generations. Mm -hmm. Woo. That's interesting. These are but a few of the Pokemon habitats you may come across while you're traveling through the Lentil region. What other discoveries might you unearth as you're exploring? Oh, New Pokemon Snap. Available April 30th, only on the Nintendo Switch system. So you can clearly see how excited I am about this game. I mean, it looks fantastic. I mean, absolutely fantastic. I love the fact that you can go and take pictures of these Pokemon in their natural environment, you know, see what they do in the wild and as opposed to training them. You know, it's, it's a nice concept. And it's so fresh and so clean and so new. I love it. I just, it's amazing. I can't wait. I literally cannot wait to get this game. Um, just a couple of things in, the, in this trailer, though. It was so funny. The first one being um, the Lapras um, with Sharpedo chasing Squirtle. And Squirtle ducked under to get on Lapras's back. And Lapras looked at Sharpedo like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? And Sharpedo's like, eh. Like, he said, yeah, whatever. You gotta wait this time. I'm out. That was funny. It's just those little behaviors are hilarious. Also with the Drift Blim and the Clamperl, that was cute too, how he was carrying Clamperl in his arms and then dropped it back down so it could be with his friends or family or whatever. That's just so cute. And I like how they do, you know, like it's like natural, you know, they're just doing their um, battling, you know, and everything. It's just so cool. I'm really gonna have a great time with this game. So I can I can tell y'all right now, I'm going to be awing throughout this whole thing, especially with Pokemon that are cute, like Pichu, um, Sobble, Squirtle, all the cute ones are gonna be like, oh! like I, I know myself, I am a sucker for cute things. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this game a lot. So that was my reaction to this trailer. And as you know, it comes out tomorrow. So let me know down in the comments if you're planning to pick this game up or you're gonna give it a hard pass. It's completely and entirely up to you because it might not be for everyone. So let me know down in the comments if you're going to get it or pass on it. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, me reacting to this wonderful trailer. I'm ready. Let's go. I'm ready to explore the lentil region and see all these beautiful Pokemon in their natural habitat and take some awesome ass pictures of them too. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe for more content. It's greatly appreciated. And I will see you guys soon. So, take care. This is Mulai Butterfly Miku saying...